Hey everybody, just for fun I thought we'd talk about bubbly rocks today. What am I talking about? Well, if you ever find a rock and it has sort of these ball-shaped minerals or shapes to them and you're wondering what could that be? Well, today I'm going to show you a couple of possibilities. Sometimes it's related to fossils and sometimes it's not. So let's take a look at some of the ones that I have here. First off, Minerals themselves can actually grow in a form that's bubbly like this. You'll see this with some microcrystalline quartz varieties. Um, you can, you'll often find this plus sparkly crystals called druzy, um, and they kind of encrust or coat. And there's lots of different minerals actually that can form this uh, sort of bubbly look to it. It's called botroidal. Um, if it stacks, it can also be reniform shaped, but this betroidal look uh, can be, like I said, sort of whitish colored if it's more quartz based or another mineral. Uh, hematite often has this shape, so it'd be more probably a darker, closer to black color, but look really similar to this shape. And I just talked about hematite, it's an iron ore, so you could check that out in the minerals playlist here. Um, but yeah, so that's that's one thing to note. Um, see if it is just a mineral that normally forms that way. Uh, there's some other minerals that form that way too. I have a few other samples, but what you'll see is they're pretty small in this case, right? So, um, if it's not that small, then it might be something else. And here's another one with a little bigger, uh, balls here. And you can see these concentric shaped, there's one that's broken open. Um, so in this case, it's not just the way the mineral forms. This isn't a botroidal pattern, and these are much larger. These are actually the, the formation caused by uh, the deposition of rhyolite and silica-rich material. So we refer to these as orbicular rhyolite, and they can get quite large. Here's some big chunks here. Um, and if you break it open, it has a really cool concentric pattern that's the in, that would be the inside of these if I broke these open and it's layering of ash and volcanic material in this case so super cool there you can also find them just loose again that's just a, a chunk of that rhyolitic material now of course you can find things like this just a rounded rock so similarly to that this is not quite as uh as much of a circular pattern it's a little flattened here but um these are just river rocks, so these are unlikely to be glued together like this one was. You're not really going to find them unless there's some sort of cement, some background cement to do the that job, which might be calcitic or something that actually holds these together, which does exist. You can get um, cemented rocks together. Uh, that might be something like a conglomerate or breccia, but uh, yeah, in this case, this is just a rounded rock because it tumbled around in a river, and it's as simple as that. Now, this looks kind of like that orbicular uh, rhyolite that I was just showing you, but there's something else going on here. And if you look closely, what we actually have are real fossils. So this one is fossils, and a lot of times things like clams, um, bivalves, brachiopods, these types of marine shelled fossils. This is the side view of those shells, right? And this is actually the the one of the sides of the shells. Um, so yeah, in this case, we actually have fossils that are all, again, kind of looking like they're glued together here in this old marine deposit. And so that's why it has that bumpy, bubbly look to it. That's actually fossils. Now they're not always going, this is nice because the red stands out um, against that background. Sometimes they'll be closer looking to the background. It just depends on what has happened during and post deposition. Um, so it might blend in a little more if it's closer, but yeah, they'll still stick out because those shells have that bubbly look. So um, there's another thing. Again, I talked about this rhyolitic material here, but um, you can also get some, uh, uh, in the volcanic ash, you can get kind of a, a dotted look to it. And you can get these things called oncolites. And they have a rounded look to them. So these are not actually fossils, despite often looking like them and being confused for them. Um, there's, they, 
They're related to deposits that would have some organisms in them, but they're essentially piezolites and oncolites are the rolling around of material that ends up forming sort of these ball-shaped or concentric patterns um, in a in a aquatic and a liquid environment, you know, in the water. Um, this material rolled around until it makes, and there's different sizes. So these can be quite small. These can get large like this. So oncolites, piezolites, volcanic material, fossils, and just plain minerals that form a botryoidal pattern are all reasons why you might have found a rock with a bubbly pattern in it. I'll see you guys next time here at Let's Go Geo on the next adventure.